If we have to look at Malta's vision uh, in diversifying our economy, uh, we're doing this in order for, um, to future-proof our economy. By diversifying our economy, we are also putting more resilience to our economy. If we look at uh, how the Maltese economy is structured, it is very much based on services. So we have a very strong financial services industry, we have a very strong iGaming industry, and also tourism obviously uh, has been there for quite a number of years now. But that is not enough. We know that um, at the moment, or at least for the past six years, Malt has been doing great in terms of economic growth. But we cannot say that, look, now we have reached our targets and we stop there. We have to keep on diversifying our economy so that uh, we would be prepared for future economic shocks. Many of the times, as a Maltese government, we say that we are a disruptive government because, because we try to disrupt ourselves, disrupt our normal way of doing things, and try to come up with innovative ideas. If this would not be the thinking of many private institutions, nowadays we would not have the internet, we would not have Facebook, we would not have social media, etc. So we must embrace technology, we must embrace innovative ideas, and Europe must be home of these innovative ideas. Any new initiatives would require new regulation. Today's regulatory environment is very dynamic. Today we're speaking about a financial product. In two weeks' time we're speaking about an innovative financial product. So, so we have to keep on uh, being kept abreast with new technology and with new services to keep on uh, acting as a best practices regulator in that sense. We know that this is a challenging task, but from our side we have implemented um, legal changes, regulatory changes. For example, if we look at the Malta Financial Service Authority, that is the regulator that uh, provides regulation for the financial service industry in Malta, we have for the past one year, um, the authority has undergone several changes. Uh, we have passed also two set pieces of legislation that will change once again the structure of the Financial Service Authority following um, different proposals that were made to us by the IMF and the FSAP report. Uh, for example, when it comes to the enforcement section, we have established also a dedicated enforcement section now within the MFSA. We have also um, separated the role from to a non-executive chairman and the CEO for there to be much more checks and balances. We have also, I think, more than tripled the budget in terms of human resources for the MFSA. So these are not small changes.